today we're making a delicious side salad, perfect for your cookouts, your parties, and potlucks. Chef Kate Luloff is back from Jones Dairy Farm and to demonstrate, she's gonna make this bacon ranch pasta salad. Every single person you know is gonna ask for the recipe. Good to see you, Kate. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? I'm doing great because you're making bacon. I am. All Everybody right. Everybody loves the smell of bacon in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Jones Dairy Farm dry aged cherry wood smoked bacon is yeah. the best. Why do you think it's so wonderful? I agree. I think it is fantastic, top of the line bacon. Um, my favorite is the cherry wood and I will tell you it's a number of things, but first of all, the fact that there's never any liquid smoke, the flavor that you're tasting is all natural flavor. Um, it's smoked with hardwood chips from Door County. You can't get any more local than that. Yum. It's smoked on the family family property um, mm -hmm. right in Fort Atkinson, so you know where they've been smoking the bacon for since 1889, so for years and years. I've been there. People come specifically for the bacon, for all the fresh foods. Most of the stuff is found in the freezer section. Where's right. the bacon found? The bacon's going to be found in the refrigerated section by your deli meats. Okay, and the reason and this is in the freezer section because there's no preservatives, there's no nitrates, no nitrates, none of that stuff. None of that, no it MSG, is, it's super fresh, so we have to keep it frozen so it stays fresh. Yummy, okay, so, so bacon ranch pasta salad, how do we make right. this? So I have some bow tie pasta that I cooked up. Mm -hmm. um, we have some broccoli, which is blanched, just dipped in boiling water for about 45 seconds. And so bright green. Throw it in an ice bath so it doesn't keep cooking. Okay, So once you keep boil those it, nutrients. Yep, exactly. Uh, cherry tomatoes, leave them whole. So if you cut them, the juice is going to um, leak out. It'll kind of make the salad, tends to make the salad a little mushier, so I'll keep them whole. Good point. Shredded sharp cheddar, mm -hmm. some orange bell pepper. You can use yellow if you want to sp uh, spice up the color. I've got a little celery and then some frozen sweet peas. And just a tip with those, when you're cooking your pasta, throw the peas in for like the last 30 to 45 seconds and then drain it all at once and then your peas will be cooked. Perfect. Done. So. All right. So how do we put this all together? What do we do here? We're just going to assemble everything together. We'll okay. make the dressing separate. So we've got the broccoli. Does it matter what order? Nope, not at all. Dump right. Okay, so the broccoli, we've got these bright orange peppers. Yum. Sweet peas. The tomatoes, again, don't cut them so it doesn't get mushy. Right. Right. And then. And this is, and the cheese. And this is perfect Yum for a barbecue. Cheese. I would just suggest all of this can be tossed the night before. Okay. Wait with the dressing until just before you're going to serve it. Toss it and then it's best served if it's fairly fresh. All right, look at all these colors. Now the dressing, there's nothing better than a great homemade dressing, right? Absolutely. So this is just very simple. Um, some mayonnaise. We're going to do a little salt and pepper. Mayo, not Miracle Whip. Correct. Okay. Correct. You have the tang from the buttermilk. We don't really need the tang from the Miracle Whip and some people are funny about Miracle Whip anyway. So Gotcha. Um, so buttermilk. Okay, <coughs> buttermilk. You got the pink salt, the peppercorns. Yep, and I've got a little bit of dry mustard. Okay. A little bit of sriracha just to kick it up oh, just a notch. All right. And then Does that make it spicy? Not too spicy, just gives it a little extra kick. Okay. And then the dry ranch seasoning that you can buy in the packet. Mm hmm. About Nothing better than a fresh made dressing. You bet. You know? You bet. Okay, so you're going to whip all that up. Yeah, we're just going to whisk that. You can put the bacon in if yes. you like. If Number you, one. And if you need to know where to find that bacon, we talked about it being Ooh, in the refrigerator yeah, section. All over. It's just more for you to eat. It is, exactly. <laughs> the fallen pieces are for me. So, okay, the bacon, and, and I saw that you made this cut up, you made it in the pan. Do you have a preference, pan, oven, microwave? If I'm doing whole strips and I'm doing quite a few, I'll always throw it in the oven. It's just easier. You can walk away and forget about it. On the stove top, if I'm going to cut them up and cook them, um, it's, it seems to be easier on the stove top. So. Mm, mm -hmm. so then before you serve, you're just going to pour that over the top. You can see it's got a little bit of a, oh of a pinkish hue to it from the sriracha. Beautiful. Everyone's going to want this recipe. Go to jonesdairyfarm.com and get the recipe for the bacon ranch pasta salad. 